what's good y'all boy ross back at it again with another video so we just finished doing a live stream reaction for smackdown overall decent show much better crowd than monday night raw uh i definitely enjoyed the opening match between edge versus aj styles versus ray mysterio to see who was going to advance later on on the smackdown side of things for the world heavyweight championship tournament and it was a very good opening match crowd was very very hot for this could have went to any of the competitors but they decided to give it to uh aj styles i really thought edge was gonna win it but they didn't they gave it to aj styles and honestly i didn't have a problem if it was gonna be edge or aj styles in my honest opinion uh it was fine with me either way so aj styles advanced to uh to the next round and then you had bobby lashley uh versus austin theory versus sheamus i didn't think i thought sheamus was gonna possibly win it but they went the other route with bobby lashley and bobby lashley getting busted open in that match i believe it was the the stair spot i think austin theory threw him head first into the steel steps and he ended up getting a gash on it and they couldn't really like you know avoid it so he was bleeding for the the entirety of that match but um he ended up winning and he ended up looking good you know in the sense of like he, he looked like he was in a war it, that that little bit of color even though it was unintentional adds a little bit more to the match to make you feel like okay these guys are really trying to go at it to you know become the new world heavyweight champion and i can appreciate that um i want to say after that uh they ended up having the the finals match between aj and uh bobby lashley and a nice back and forth he ended bobby lashley ended up getting reopened up again i guess they didn't weren't able to close it up enough for in enough time so that ended up happening he was bleeding again more color added to the match but ultimately they gave aj styles the win it was a hard fought victory they gave him a win and now he will be advancing to the finals aj styles versus seth rollins that should be a great match i do think they're still probably going to give it to seth but they can pull an audible pull a switcheroo on a lot of people and give it to aj i don't really have a problem with either one but i just think they're probably going to give it to seth rollins so we'll see how that plays out at night of champions uh we're gonna also talk about quickly the whole bianca belair at home you know what i'm saying celebrating her you know uh you know her being the smackdown's women's champion even though she has the raw women's championship still so i don't know how what they're gonna do with that um her family was there in attendance they had the little red carpet on the ring they're about to i guess celebrate her you know you know retaining at backlash oscar comes out i was like oh well if oscar's out here then she's most likely going to be a heel and she comes out tries to shake her hand and then she gets spit in the face with the whatever oscar <laughs> be holding in her mouth you know what I'm saying she got spit in the face with the blue ink and i ain't gonna lie to you bro <laughs> bianca was selling this like it was an academy award performance like she was overselling it she's just going crazy <laughs> i'm like yo you gotta bianca calm down like goddamn and then we go to the commercial break and we come back and she's still ah, ooh, ah, it burned. i was like yo you gotta all right bro i think you overselling it you think think you doing a little bit of the oversell i thought that was funny looks like they're gonna be setting up another feud with bianca and oscar the only thing is does it really matter now because we've seen it once before i think a lot of people would have wanted bianca to lose and have oscar win honestly this feud don't really make a it don't matter if oscar not gonna win and i don't see oscar winning because i think they're really trying to you know go with this route of bianca being the longest i mean i think she is the longest reigning raw women's champion of all time i think at this point so they're, they're just gonna keep stacking up the days so i don't i don't know we'll see i could be wrong but we'll see how that plays out i'm sure they'll probably have a match at night of champions uh coming uh coming soon but we gotta talk about what we're here to talk about your boy roman reigns has returned he returned back to work and boy this is very 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 interesting i love this segment it's been a while since a bloodline segment has definitely had me invested roman is there he does his normal spill 
acknowledge me. The crowd's acknowledging him, chanting Roman. He's drinking it in, man. If you know the reference, you know it. He's, you know, talking his usual stuff. Usos, they're happy to be there. Solo, stoic as ever. And he goes over to Solo and basically giving him praise. Like, Solo took care of the Matt Riddle problem. But then Solo says something about uh, about Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. They haven't taken care of that problem. And Roman's like, we're going to get to that. But basically, he's saying Solo gets the job done. But your brothers don't. And he's talking about Jay and Jimmy. And this is when things started heating up. Because now he's berating them. Now he's talking to them kind of crazy like. He's like, why would you dedicate? Not only did you guys lose at WrestleMania. Then you dedicate the, the rematch and the match to you dedicated to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not in the tag team division. I'm not going for the tag team titles. Why would you dedicate it to me? There's other people in our lineage that you should have dedicated it to, but you dedicated to me of all like what are you doing you disrespecting the family i like that i like how he spun that like you could have dedicated to other tag team greats in our family but you dedicated to me i'm not even going for those titles or whatnot so at this point now he's getting in jimmy face because i'm thinking he's gonna get in jay's face but no he's getting in jimmy's face and this is this is one of those things where he knows Jay is going to be the one to get in line. He has Jay under his thumb. So the best way to get at Jay is to go for Jimmy. And, we, I mean, it's kind of shades of, you guys remember, Hell in a Cell. When they had, uh, Jay had his Hell in a Cell match and Jimmy came in there or whatever. And the only reason, the only reason why the match ended is because a Roman had attacked Jimmy. Roman had attacked Jimmy and Jay said, all right, I quit. I quit, bro. I stop. I quit. I acknowledge you. And that's kind of what we're getting here now. So he goes after Jimmy because he basically like, I need y'all to apologize to me for it, for, for, for y'all dedicating that match and losing. Apologize to me. Say you're sorry. Crowd chant, no, no, no. And Jimmy kind of laughing like, bro, you know, we got your back. Like, what are you doing? And then he starts getting, Roman starts pushing him. And then, he, you know, he, you know, he mush him in the face with his hand. And now Jimmy's getting heated. And it's rare that you see Jimmy getting heated, but he's getting mad. And Jimmy looked like he about to do something. Jay steps in and said, I apologize. I apologize, Tropical Chief. So I'm like, all right. All right. Even though that's some, you know, all right, Jay, you really being a sucker. But it's okay. They're still building up the story. So at that point, Roman's like, all right, well, we're going to get the titles. We're going to take the titles off of Sammy and Kevin Owens at Night of Champions. And then he has Paul Heyman announce it. So the Usos think it's just going to be them. We're going to do it. We're going to do what's right. We're going to make it right. Because Jay basically was like, give us one more one more opportunity to bring back the titles, bring the titles back to the bloodline. And then that's when Roman tells Paul to make the announcement. The Usos think it's about them getting in one more title opportunity but no, it's Roman and Solo going against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn for the tag team titles. They are going for it. And I'm like, oh, wow. That was a nice switch up. Very, very nice switch up. Someone had sent this to me earlier. And I was like, oh, that would be an interesting storyline setup. And then the, the question becomes... How is Sammy and Kevin Owens are going to do this? Because obviously, you know, you know, the, their, their beliefs is not going to align with the Saudi show. How is this going to happen? I don't know. We're going to find this out. But what was crazy about this, and even after it was said, Jimmy and Jay, they looking like, damn, what the fuck? And then Roman, to even slide them some more, was like, and I'm going to dedicate this win to their 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 family members that were once uh tag team champs was you know once tag teams and he's like the, they are the greatest tag teams it's not even the usos no more who's at the longest tag team reign in all of wwe history now they're the greatest to kind of slight jimmy and jay and i, I like that bro i like 
I like what they're doing here with the bloodline. And honestly, the only thing that concerns me is because obviously this nigga Roman is on the Take Everyone's Championship Tour. And I hope they don't do that and give the belts to Roman and Solo. They don't need it. It doesn't make sense. Roman is not a tag team. <laughs> he's more of a solo act. No pun intended. Well, technically he's not a solo act because he usually has people to help him win his matches. But we don't need that. What I do think is going to happen, and I think the story is there. I think Jimmy and Jay are going to be the reasons that they lose. And it's not because Jimmy and Jay is going to turn on them. I don't think that's the case. We haven't gotten to that deep yet. They're not going to turn on them. What I think is going to happen, and I can see this playing out. Roman, not Roman, uh, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, they're going to finally get into some type of rhythm to the point where they actually are getting the upper hand on Roman and Solo. And what's going to possibly happen is the Usos are going to come out there to try to make the save, to try to help them out, to show that they're still loyal. But ultimately, it's going to cost them the match. It give you a situation like Roman doesn't want them out there. We got this. Why are y'all out here? I didn't tell y'all to come out here. And it's going to cause a distraction and maybe someone ends up getting pinned. I don't think Roman's going to get pinned because it doesn't make sense for him to get pinned. Uh, I think Solo is going to eat the pin here off a of distraction by the Usos because they're not going to obviously, they're not going to be told to be out there. They're going to be out there on their own to try to help. And they're going to ultimately still cost them the titles. And I think that's going to be the, the catalyst, the final catalyst that's going to piss Roman off to the point where hands may be thrown and it may get physical with members of the bloodline. So I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to come out there trying to help Roman. Roman's going to be pissed that they're even out there. It's going to cause a distraction and they'll end up losing. Solo will probably eat the pin and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will retain and Roman will be irate. So that's what I hope would happen, but who knows, man? So, comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this episode of SmackDown? What was your favorite part? Did you guys enjoy the Bloodline segment? Do you think Roman is going to become the new Undisputed Tag Team Champs with Solo as well? Do you think he's going to get all the championships? Also, I, I did want to make a mention as he was walking up the ramp. He did look at the the new universe, uh, new uh, world heavyweight championship. I'm like, oh god, keep your eyes, keep your eyes off the title, Roman. You have enough belts, no more. So let me know what y'all think about the show. If you guys enjoyed it, and where you think, uh, what you think is gonna happen at Night of Champions when it comes to the Bloodline, and also who's gonna win between AJ Styles and uh Seth Rollins uh, to become the new world heavyweight champion. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150k. Appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one. Peace.